हेलो एंड वेलकम इन दिस वीडियो वी शेल सी ए टू जेड थेरी ऑफ किचॉप्स लॉस दैट इज किचॉप्स करंट लॉ किचॉप्स वोल्टेज लॉ वी कॉल देम एज केसीएल केवीएल विद एग्जांपल्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी शेल सी व्हाट इज किचॉप्स करंट लॉ और किचॉप्स फर्स्ट लॉ और इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज किचॉप्स जंक्शन लॉ सो द स्टेटमेंट इज द एल्जेब्रिक सम ऑफ द करंट्स एट अ जंक्शन और नोड इज जीरो in an electrical network so here we have this red point is nothing but what it's a junction or node in this given diagram so at this the algebraic sum is zero now here we have to follow these two rules these are the conventional rules so what they says that incoming current is considered as positive and outgoing current is considered as negative now you can see here i1 i2 i3 and i4 these four currents are the incoming currents here towards the node or junction and i5 i6 and i7 they are outgoing currents here so we have to consider these four currents as incoming currents as positives and these three currents here shown so they are considered they will be considered as negative now in general we can have any number of incoming currents and outgoing currents so here we can say that i1 plus i2 plus i3 plus i4 minus i5 minus i6 minus i7 this total equal to 0 so in a short we can summarize it as summation of capital i over the subscript small i is equal to 0 so, so in general we can have n number of currents so for that the summation over capital i is equal to 0 so this is nothing but kirchhoff's current law now we shall consider one example here so here in this example it is given that i1 is equal to 2 ampere i2 is equal to 3 ampere i3 is equal to 4 ampere and i4 is equal to 5 ampere this are the are incoming the current currents given to us and i5 I is 2 ampere i6 is 3 ampere and we have to find out what will be i7 now here simply we have to apply the kirchhoff's current law which we have just seen so that says that incoming currents will be considered as positive outgoing as negative so it will be nothing but i1 plus i2 plus i3 plus i4 and these are the outgoing currents so that will be minus i5 minus i6 minus i7 equal to 0 now all these current values are given and we have to find out i7 so we have to substitute all these values here so if we have to substitute this so it will be 2 ampere plus 3 ampere plus 4 ampere plus 5 ampere minus 2 ampere minus 3 ampere minus i7 is equal to 0 now if you solve all of them then you will get the value of i7 is equal to 9 ampere now we shall see what is kirchhoff's voltage law so kirchhoff's voltage law is also known as kirchhoff's second law or also kirchhoff's loop law now we will see the statement here so what is statement says that the sum of the voltage difference around any closed loop in a circuit must be zero so here we will consider this loop here and these are the different currents flowing here in this direction like this direction and uh, uh, the statement of this kirchhoff's uh, voltage law is nothing but what the sum of the voltage difference around any closed loop in a circuit must be zero now here we have to follow the two rules and uh, for, uh, for battery, battery and, and two rules for the component, component like resistor so, so the what are the two rules for battery the two rules for the battery is now you can see that we have considered this as the loop so, so along this loop we have traced it that means what it is traced along a b c d and again a so if we trace this loop like this then what Uh, uh, so, so then, then we have, we have to follow these, these rules here. here. So what, what these rules are? When, when the, the voltage for the battery voltage, voltage goes from low to high, high then, then we have, we have to, to consider, consider that voltage as positive. positive. 
and when the voltage goes from high to low, then we have to consider that voltage as negative. Okay. So this is for the, these two rules are for battery. You have to remember them by heart them so that you can solve any difficult problems, whatever it may be, with the help of these two rules for battery and now two rules for the resistor. So what are the rules for resistor for the given loop traced? The, the conventional current, current for the conventional current, current we have current, current flows along the loop traced then, then the voltage is negative. negative. So whenever so the, the direction, direction of the current, the current and direction, direction of the, the loop, loop is same, same then, then across, across the resistance we have to, we have to consider, consider the current, current to be uh, sorry, uh, sorry the, the voltage, voltage to be negative. negative. And, and when, when the, the current, current flows opposite, opposite to the loop traced, that, that means the direction of loop traced and the direction of current, current both are opposite to each other. other. In, In that, that case, case, we have, we to, have to consider, consider the voltage, voltage drop as positive. positive. Now, now here, here you can, can see that, that this is the voltage, voltage capital V, which, which is uh, the, the voltage, voltage of the battery. Of the battery. Then, then R1 is there. Now, now here, here throughout the, the circuit, circuit the, the same, same current, current will flow here, here. Say, say we will call it as capital, capital I. I. Okay? okay. So capital, capital I, I will flow through this circuit. circuit. Now, now according, according to Ohm's law, the voltage, voltage drop across R1, R1 will, will be V1, V1 is equal to I, I into R1. R1. Voltage, voltage drop across R2 will be V2 is equal to I multiplied by R2. And, and voltage, voltage drop, drop across, across R3, R3 will be V3 is, is equal to I multiplied by R3. R3. Now, now which voltages, voltages we have to consider as positive, positive and which voltages, voltages we have to consider negative? negative. For, For that, that we have to follow, follow these rules. rules. Now, now here, here you, you can, can see, see that, that the loop, loop is traced, traced like, like this. this. That, that means it is traced in a clockwise direction here. And we can see that voltage, that capital V voltage here, it is, it is going, going from lower, lower value, value to higher, higher value, value along the loop traced, traced like, like this. this. Okay. okay. So, it is it going, going from, from lower value, value to higher value. value. So, so, what, what this rule say that we have to consider that voltage as positive. positive. So, therefore, so this capital V we have to consider it as positive. So, we have written it as a positive. Now, current is flowing like this through R1 and the loop traced is along the direction of current only because the loop traced is in the clockwise direction here like this. So, so loop traced and the direction, direction of current, current both of them are same. same. Therefore, Therefore, we have to consider, consider the voltage, voltage drop across, across this resistance R1 as negative. negative. So, so this, this will be nothing, nothing but what? Minus I R1. Similarly, here uh, for R2 again, the direction of current and the direction of loop traced are same. Therefore, it will be minus I times R2. And, and for, for R3 also, also the direction of current and the direction of loop traced are in the same direction. direction. Therefore, Therefore, it will be minus I into R3 is equal to 0. zero. Now, now, we can we substitute, substitute the values of IR1, IR2 and IR3 here. here. So, it will so be V minus capital V minus V1 minus V2 minus V3 is equal to 0. Now, in general, we can have n number, number of, of resistances, resistances or, or components or batteries, batteries etc. Et so, so in general, general we can say that in, in a general, general statement, statement that, that summation of capital V subscript I, I over I, I is equal, equal to zero. zero. So, so for Kirchhoff's voltage, voltage law, law if whenever we consider, we consider any closed, closed loop, loop then, then the voltage, voltage drop across all the components, sum of voltage drop across all the components including battery etc. Of course, of course, we have to apply, apply these, these rules, rules. Then, then it is equal, is equal to what? what? Zero. zero. Now, now I will I just trace, trace this loop, loop in the other way uh, direction. Uh, direction. That, that is nothing but what? In, a, in, in an, an anti-clockwise anti direction. direction. So, so for, for an, an anti-clockwise anti direction, direction uh, you can, you can see, see that, that this loop is traced here in anti-clockwise direction. Now, just remember these four rules only. They are for any type of loop, any type of components, components or, circuits or circuits you have, you have only these, these four, four lines, lines are very important, important for Kirchhoff's voltage law. If you remember, remember this, you can, can solve any example related to this. this. Okay. okay. Now, now see, see here, here uh, when, when we, we consider, consider here, here this loop in a clockwise, uh, sorry, in an anti-clockwise direction here, here. now we now can we see that here the current is flowing like this here. Okay. Now, for the battery, the voltage drop is capital V. Now, for the battery, the, the direction, direction of the, of the loop, loop 
says that uh, what direction of truth uh, indicates that the battery voltage goes from positive to negative that is nothing but what from higher voltage to lower voltage so whenever the battery voltage goes from positive to negative that is higher voltage to lower voltage then it is considered as negative you can see this this is the rule high to low it is negative okay so it will be written as minus capital v then uh, the uh, this is the direction of current shown by these arrows here and this is the loop traced direction now the direction of current and direction of loop traced they are opposite to each other here therefore the we have, we have to follow, follow this second, second rule here, here that, that current, current flows is opposite, opposite to the loop traced then, then the voltage, the voltage drop, drop is positive. positive. So, that so that means what here we have to consider the voltage, voltage drop across R1 as what? Positive. positive. So, it will, so it will be plus I times R1. R1. Similarly, voltage, voltage drop across R2 will be nothing but what? I R2 and it is also positive because the direction of current is this one and direction of loop traced is this one. That, that means they are opposite, opposite to each other, other. so we have to follow, follow this second line here, here. That, that says what it will, it will become plus i r and, and similarly for this third resistance it will be nothing but what plus i times r3 is equal to 0 now we will now su just, just substitute, substitute the values of this i r1 i r2 and i r3 as v1 v2 v3 so we so get minus v plus v1 plus v2 plus v3 is equal to 0 and, and in this, this case, case again, again we can, can generalize, generalize the Kirchhoff's voltage, voltage law as, as summation over v capital v, v subscript i, I summation over i, I is equal, equal to what, what? zero, zero. Uh, I, hope I hope that, that you understand this, this. Now, now just, just by, by remembering, remembering these four things here, here for Kirchhoff's voltage law and the two things for Kirchhoff's current law that is a uh, incoming, incoming current, current for Kirchhoff's current, current law, we have seen that the incoming, incoming current we have to consider as positive, outgoing, outgoing current, current as the negative. negative. And, and remembering only, only these four lines here, here for battery and, battery and the resistor, and the resistor you, can you can solve any, any example, example related to this. To this. We, shall we shall consider, consider some, some examples related to this. this. Okay, okay, so, so here, here uh, we, we shall consider, consider the example of Kirchhoff's laws. This is the example number one which are going to consider here. So, so here it says, says that, that uh, two, two batteries, batteries of 7 ohm and, and 13 ohm and, and internal resistances 1 ohm and, and 2 ohm respectively are connected in parallel with a resistance of 12 ohm. Find the current through each branch of the circuit and the potential difference across 12 ohm resistance. So we have to find out this what will be the current I1, what will be current I2 and what will be the current through this circuit that will be say it will be I1 plus I2 over here and you have to find out what will be the voltage drop across 12 ohm resistance. Okay. Now it is given that this 7 ohm battery is having internal resistance of 1 ohm and 13 ohm battery is having internal resistance of 2 ohm. So, so equivalently, equivalently we can draw, draw this circuit, circuit very easily here, here. say so it will be nothing but what this, this will be the our, our first uh, 7 volt battery, battery here, then, then there, there will be an internal, internal resistance, resistance of what 1 ohm, so, so we can, can say, say that, that we can consider, consider in series with that some 1 ohm resistance and I will draw it here like this, then the second battery is of this is 7 volt battery and the second battery is of what 13 volt battery. So this so is 13 volt battery, battery and, and it is it having internal resistance of 2 ohm that, that means what, what we have to we consider, consider in series with this a resistance of 2 ohm and, and this is 13 volt battery. battery. And, and both of these batteries, batteries they are connected, connected in parallel with what, what? A, a resistance, resistance of 12 ohm. ohm. So, this, so is this is we have the resistance, resistance of what? 12 ohm. Now, now this, this current, current from, from here, here it is, it is considered, considered as what? I1. That, that is this is again I1 only. only. Okay. This is again I1. I1. So, this, this is also I1 only. Okay. okay. And, and current from, from this, this, this one is considered, considered as what? I2. I2. 
and here the two currents will be added here later on and again it will come here then again from here i2 will again flow from here to here and this i1 current will flow back to what through 7 volt battery it will go to here okay so this current i1 will flow like this then the current i2 will be added here and again at this point they will be get separated this will i1 will go to this 7 volt battery and this i2 will come back again to 13 volt battery okay so here uh, since internal resistance of these batteries is given so we have to just consider these resistances in series with what those batteries now we have to find out current through each branch that is what from this i1 we have to find out then we have to find out i2 and also we have to find out what will be the current through 12 ohm resistance and also we have to find out what voltage drop across 12 ohm resistance so for this purpose we have to consider here the different loops here okay say i will consider this first loop here as say a e a e f b and again a so i will consider this loop a e then f then b and a so this loop so if i want to trace this loop it will be like this it will be like this say i will take some other color because that white is not looking here properly okay so i will trace this loop like this again like this okay so this, so this loop, loop will be traced, traced like this in the, the anti-clockwise anti direction. direction. Okay. okay. Now, now we, we have, have seen, seen the rules for battery as, as well as what uh, resistances, resistances in just, just earlier part, part of this lecture. lecture. So, so here, here we can, can see that from here it starts from A. Then, then after, after A it, it goes, goes to what point E. e. Okay. Now, now, how, how much, much is the current, current flowing, flowing through this 12 ohm resistance? The current, current flowing through 12 ohm resistance will be nothing but what? I1 plus I2 because actually at junction C, C, this is the junction C. So, at junction C, we have, according to Kirchhoff's uh, current law, we have I1 plus I2 and this current will further flow through what? Uh, 12, uh, 12 ohm resistance. We can call it as I if you want, otherwise we can keep it as I1 plus I2 only. So, I will keep it as I1 plus I2 only. And that will flow through what? This 12 ohm resistance. Now, here you can see that the direction of the current is like this. This is the direction of current. And the direction of loop is nothing but what? Like this. Okay. So, that means what? The direction of current and the direction of the loop, both are parallel to each other. And therefore, we have, we have seen, seen the, the rules in our earlier part, part when the, the direction, direction of current, current and the direction of the loop are same then for a resistance the voltage, voltage drop will be nothing but what negative, negative. Okay? okay so, so what, what will be the uh, uh, what will be the voltage drop across this resistance it will be 12 ohm that is r value multiplied by current through this that is simple ohms law we have to apply here but the sign will be nothing but what negative so it will be nothing but what 12, 12, I will write down it here. here. It will be minus, minus sign 12, 12 multiplied, multiplied by I1 plus I2. Then, then after, after this, this, it goes, goes to what? This 7, uh, uh, it goes to this, uh, uh, that is a uh, uh, battery, battery, that is 7 volt battery. battery. Now, now for, for this battery, battery we have seen, seen the rule. The rule. When, when we, we go, go from, from lower, lower to higher voltage, voltage lower to higher voltage, voltage it is always considered as positive. positive. So, so it, it will be considered, considered as positive. positive. So it, it will be simply 7, 7 volt. And, and then, then the, the current, current flow, uh, then, then we have to consider this 1 ohm resistance also into picture. So 1 ohm resistance is here which I had shown here. So now for this 1 ohm resistance again, the direction of current and the direction of loop traced, they are along the same direction. So it will be nothing but what? 1 multiplied by I1. Okay. So it will be simply nothing but what? Uh, a negative sign. Why there will be a negative sign? The negative sign is because the direction of current and the loop traced are same. So it will be 1 multiplied by I1. So it will be 1 multiplied by I1. Okay. 
and this is equal to zero. So this is the Kirchhoff's voltage law for our this loop. So just uh, you should remember how to write down these uh, Kirchhoff's voltage laws and some rules to solve any kind of uh, complicated examples also. Okay. Now we have to just simplify this. So what I will do is. I will, I will write down, down this as minus 12 into I1 plus I2 as it is and minus this will be I1 and if I take this 7 on the other side it will be 7 okay uh, sorry it will be minus sign say minus 7 now if I cancel this minus sign here then what it will be it will be 12 multiplied by I1 plus, plus I2, I2. I am just cancelling minus sign, sign throughout, and, and plus, plus it will be I1, I1 as, as uh, minus, minus will become plus, plus then, and, and is equal to this minus 7, seven on the right, on the right hand, hand side, side, it will become plus 7. seven. Okay? okay? So, so this, this is our equation, equation number 1. one. I will I call this is equation number 1. Okay? Now we have to consider, say, another root. So, so for, for that, that purpose, purpose, what I will do is I will just, uh, I will see if I can select this uh, image. I will copy that. Okay. And I will paste it here. Yeah. So, I got this image here. Now, the next loop I have to consider is, uh, I will consider this loop here. So, so this is which one? It is C E F D C. That is C E F D and again C. So for the loop C E F D C. So this, this is loop, loop. I, will I will trace, trace it, it in an anti-clockwise anti again. again. So, so this, this is, is the loop, loop here actually. actually. I have to trace, I will color, color, trace with another color. color. So, so it, it starts from C, then, then it goes, goes to E, then goes to F, then goes to D, and, and again it comes back to C. C. So this, this is the loop, loop here. Okay. So for this particular loop, we have to again apply what? Kirchhoff's voltage law here. So, from, so from here, here C I will start, start. now there is I1 plus, plus I2 current, current is flowing through this 12 ohm resistance. Now, now the direction of current and the direction of loop are nothing but what? Parallel. So the voltage drop will be nothing but what? Minus times. So it will be what? Minus 12 multiplied by I1 plus I2. And the, the, for, for the battery, the voltage, the voltage goes, goes from, from low value, value to high, high value, value. So, so it will be considered, considered as what? Positive. positive. So, so it will be plus 13 volt. volt. So rather so I will write down plus 13. 13. Then, then the, the voltage, voltage drop across the 2 ohm resistance. Now remember we have considered it as what? A resistance parallel here. So for this 13 ohm resistance we have 13 volt battery we have nothing but what? 2 ohm resistance here. Because that is the internal resistance. Now the, now the direction, direction of the current, the current and the direct and the, and the uh, uh, loop test they, they are same. same. So, so this current, current this voltage, voltage drop across what this two ohm resistance, ohm resistance which is the internal resistance, resistance of the 13 volt battery, battery will, be will be nothing but what negative. negative. So it so will be nothing but what minus times two and the current flowing through this two ohm resistance will be nothing but what I two. So it will be minus two times I two is equal, is equal to, to zero. zero. Now, now we have, we have to simplify, simplify this. this. So, so it will be what? Minus 12 into I1 plus I2 minus 2 times I2 is equal to, I will take 13 on the other side. So it will be minus 13. Now we will cancel this uh, minus sign throughout. So what we will get here? 12 multiplied by I1 plus I2 and, and plus, plus we have 2 times I2 is equal to 13. So this, this is, is our equation, equation number 2. 
okay now just by writing these two things we can find out all the currents by using simple mathematics over here so what we have to do here is say first i will do the equation number 2 minus equation 1 so what i will do is equations 2 minus equation number 1 so i will take another color if you want yeah So, so what what, what will, will happen, happen now? Equation two minus, minus equation one. one. It, it will, will be nothing be but, but what? what? See here. See here. Uh, for, for equation two, two it is two times i one. Uh, sorry, twelve times i one plus i two is here. This is one term here. here. And, and here, here we have twelve times i one plus i two again here. here. So, so they will get cancelled. Okay, twelve times i one plus i two minus twelve times i one plus i two. They will get cancelled. And this is nothing but what? Two times i two minus this is i one is there. So it will be 2 times i2 minus i1 it will be 2 times i2 minus i1 will be equal to what 13 minus 7 or i will take this color or we can say that it will be 2 times i2 minus i1 is equal to 6 okay So this, so this is, is our, our equation, equation number three. Say we can say. Now, Now what, what we will do is, is we will substitute this value of i one from here in our, our equation, equation number. Ah, uh, that, that is from equation, equation number three in our, our equation, equation number two. So, so from, from this equation three, what will be the value of i one? The value of i one will be nothing but what? I will take this i one on one side, and this will be equal to nothing but what? Two i two. Minus six, uh, is it right? So I will take i two on one side, and this will be two i two minus six. So this will be the value of i one. So from equation number three, we will substitute the value of i one in the equation number set two. Okay. So I will just take this slightly down. So what will happen then if I substitute this value over here in equation two? So, so substituting, substituting this equation three, equation three, that, that is value of i one in equation number. So what, what we get, get here is, is the following. The following. So, so it will be nothing but what twelve times. times. Now, Now I will I put, put the. the Value of i one, so it is twelve times i one here. So I'll put it as what? Two times i two minus i six, and plus we have i two again, and plus we have two times i two. Is comes out to be equal to what? It is nothing but thirteen. That is from equation number two. Okay. Now we will just uh, try to simplify this. So what it will be then? If I, if i simplify, simplify this, this it will be 12, 12 times it will be 2i2 and plus i2 it will become 3 times, times i2 minus, minus this will be 6 and, and plus this will be 2 times, times i2 is, is equal, equal to 0 ah uh, uh, sorry, oh, sorry sorry is, is equal, equal to, to i have to write down it as 13 because this is 13 is over there okay Is equal to thirty. So this will be twelve into three. So it will be thirty-six times i two minus twelve into six will be what seventy-two, and plus two times i two is equal to thirty. Now this thirty-six plus two will be nothing but what thirty-eight. So it will become thirty-eight times i two. Minus seventy two is equal to thirteen, or we can say thirty eight times i two is equal to. Now, if seventy two goes on the other side, it will become seventy two plus thirteen. So seventy two plus three is seventy five plus ten. It will be eighty five. So it is. It will be equal to what? Eighty five. Okay. Or from this equation, we can say that. A, I will, I will take, slightly take slightly up, up here. here. That, That our, our i two 
इज इक्वल टू एटी फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय थर्टी एट ओके सो इफ यू सॉल्व दिस यू विल गेट दिस एज टू पॉइंट टू थ्री सेवन एम पी आई so this is the current i2 okay uh, this is one of the current that is i2 i will call it as equation number 4 okay now to find out the uh, current uh, say i1 what we have to do is we have to substitute the value of this i2 current there okay so what we'll do is we will substitute this value of i2 value of i2 Say from, from equation, equation number, number, we have, we have equation, equation number four. four say, say in equation, equation number uh, three. three. In, in equation, equation number three. three. Okay. okay. So, so what is what our equation number three? three? You can just, just see here. here we have here equation, equation number three. three. Yeah, yeah. This, this is the equation, equation number three. three. That, that is two i two minus i one equal to Six, six or, or say we have this i one is equal to two times i two minus six. This is same thing as equation number three only. Okay, okay. just uh, uh, the, the terms, terms are taken there. Okay, okay. so this, so this uh, therefore, if you substitute, if you substitute the, value the value of that in equation number uh, three, value of i two. So what it will be then? I one will be equal to two multiplied by eighty five divided by thirty eight minus six. Okay. okay, so, so if, if you simplify, simplify this, this, it will be nothing, nothing but one hundred seventy minus two hundred and twenty-eight, two hundred and twenty-eight divided by thirty-eight. And if you solve this, you will get it as minus fifty-eight. Divided by thirty-eight. So this is our I one. Okay, this is I one. Or we can we will get what I one is equal to. My if you just find out this, it will be minus times one point five two six ampere. So this is the current I one. I will call it as equation number five. Now you can, you can see, see this, this uh, circuit, circuit again. again. Uh, what, what will be the, the current, current through this resistance, twelve ohm resistance? resistance. It, is it is nothing but what I one plus I two. So we have to just add these two currents from uh, these uh, last two equations, equations four and five. So we have this: the total current flowing through this twelve ohm resistance is I one plus I two is equal to. It will be nothing but. This one, two point two three seven from equation number four, and plus it is minus one point five two six ampere. Now, if you find out this current, it comes out to be equal to zero point seven one one ampere. So this is the current flowing through twelve ohm. Resistance. resistance. Now, what, what will be the, the voltage, voltage drop across that 12 ohm resistance? resistance? It will be nothing but what? Current, current flowing through that resistance multiplied by the value, value of that, that resistance. resistance. So, so therefore, voltage drop across 12 ohm resistance. Will be current flowing. That is nothing but what? Point seven double one multiplied by the value of resistance that is twelve ohm. So it will be. If you find out this, it will be eight point five three two volt. Okay. So this is the voltage drop across that resistance. Now uh, here, what we have done is we have just uh, found out. Uh, what, uh, what will be the voltage, the voltage drop across this 12 ohm resistance, resistance here? here? That, that is this much. much. Then, then we have found out what is the current flowing through that 12 ohm resistance. 
then here this is the I2 current and this is the I1 current from here. Now if you want you can call the this equation as equation 4, 5, this is our 6 and this is our equation number 7. So from equation number 4, 5, 6 we have found out current through each branch of the circuit and from equation number 7 we have uh, done what will be the current what will be the voltage drop across this 12 ohm resistance. So I1 we have found out that is current through this branch I2 then I1 plus I2 and also voltage drop across this. Uh, I hope that you understand uh, this example. So here we have the example number 2 of Kirchhoff's law. This example is find the current through 4 ohm and 3 ohm resistances for the given network. Assume that the cells have negligible internal resistance. So this diagram is given to us. We have to find out current through 4 ohm resistance that is this one and this one and also through 3 ohm resistance that is nothing but this one. So that is uh, we have to find out this I1, I2 and I3. So all these three currents we have to find out. Okay. So for this purpose uh, we can apply the KVL and KCL at different points. Say first of all we will apply KCL that is Kirchhoff's current law for this node F. So node or junction we can say. So at node capital F what we have there are two incoming currents here. One is nothing but what this I1 and another is nothing but what I2. So these are the two incoming currents over here and one outgoing current is there that is I3. So, uh, so according to this Kirchhoff's current law, we have I1 plus I2. Now remember those rules which I had already given. Incoming currents will be treated as positive, outgoing will be treated as negative. So I1 plus I2 minus I3 is equal to 0. So or we can say that I1 plus I2 is equal to I3. This is our equation number 1. We will call it as equation number 1. Okay. Now we can apply KVL at for different loops here. Say I will consider this loop say E, F, C, D and E. So, so I will I apply, apply this, this uh, Kirchhoff's voltage, voltage law for this particular loop, loop like, like this. this. Rather, Rather it will start, start from E. So I will do it same thing. So, so for, for this, this particular, particular loop, I will do E, F, then there is C, then there is D, and then again back we have what E. So for this particular loop, we will apply. Uh, Kirchhoff's, Kirchhoff's voltage, voltage law. law. Okay. okay. Now, now we will, we will start, start from, from here. here. So, so current, current flowing, flowing through here, here is nothing but what? I. Here, here there is I1 current. current. Now, but, but here, here at this place, place the current, current is nothing but what? Of course, the current, current is flowing like this. this. Here, here. I, will I will draw with the help of this one. Okay. So current, current is flowing, is flowing like, like this, I2 is flowing, is flowing like this, this. And, and our, our loop, loop is traced, traced like, like this. this. Okay. okay. Now, now we, we have seen the rule that, that the current and the loop they are parallel. parallel. Uh, so, so here, here the, the current, current and the loop they are anti-parallel. Anti okay. okay. So, so in, in that, that situation, situation we have to consider the voltage drop across that particular resistance as what positive. If they are parallel, then we have to consider it as negative. So, so here, here uh, 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 I will write, write down this. This will be nothing but what? 3 multiplied by I2, I2 but, but with positive, positive sign because current is flowing in this direction, direction and, and loop is traced like, like this. Okay. okay. So, so it, it will be 3 times I2. I2 uh, uh, so, so for EFE, e, then we have F, 
then C D E. For this particular loop, we have three times I two. Then for this one, the direction of current and the direction of loop traced are same, so it will be I one and multiplied by four with negative sign because the direction are same. Then we have to add the minus sign we have seen in the earlier part of this lecture. So it will be nothing but what minus four times. I1 and, and when, when the battery, the battery voltage, voltage goes from low to high, so here, here along the loop it is going from low to high, so we have to consider it as what? Positive. So it will be plus 10 is equal to 0. Uh, now say we can adjust this term, I will write down this 4 I1 here. So, so it is with it is minus, minus sign. sign. Say, okay, okay, I will write down, write down this plus. plus we have three, three times I2 is equal to, to if I take 10 on the other, other side, it will be minus, minus 10. 10. Now, now multiplying, multiplying throughout by minus, minus uh, sign, uh, sign, so it so will, will be nothing but what? what? Four, four times, times this minus, minus will become plus. plus. This plus will become minus and is equal to this minus will become again plus. So, so this, this is, is our, our equation, equation number, number. say so we, we will call, call it as equation, equation number two. two. Now, now we, will we will consider, consider another loop, say I will, I will consider, consider this, uh, this, this loop say, say I will I start, start from, from F, F then, then we will, will go, go to A, A then B, B C and, and again, again F. F. So, so we will consider this particular loop now. So, if so you, you want, want, I will take another color, color here. here. So, so I, will I will start, start from, from F, F, A, B, B C, C and, and again, again F. F. Okay. okay. So, so, for, for this, this particular, particular loop, loop that, that is F, F I will use this other, other color. color. Okay. okay. Uh, for, for this particular, particular loop, F, F A, A, B, C, F. F That should not be any space here actually, okay, B, C, F. So, so for this particular, particular loop, we can see that I3 is flowing like this and the loop is in the same direction. So, therefore, if current and the loop is in the same direction, we have to write minus sign. So, there will be minus times 4 times I3. Then, there is a battery there. Now, the voltage goes from low to high here. Therefore, Therefore, we have, we have to, consider to consider it as positive, positive. So, so it will be, be plus 5. Then, then we have this current, current I2 is flowing through this resistance, that is 3 ohm resistance. resistance. Now, now the direction of the current and the direction, and the direction of loop is same. So, so we, we have to consider, consider it as what? Negative. negative. So, so it will be I2 multiplied by 3 or it will be 3 I2 rather. Okay is equal to 0. Now, if we just adjust these, ter these terms, I will adjust, uh, so it will be nothing but what, minus say, minus 4 times I3, I can write down it like this. This is minus 3 times I2, 3 times I2 is equal to I will, I will take, take this, this phi on the other side, side so it will become, become minus phi. Now, now if we cancel, cancel this minus sign, sign throughout, throughout then, then it will be it will be 4, four times i3, yeah, yeah, minus, minus sign will get cancelled here, here. Then, then plus 3 times i2 is equal to I2 is equal to 5. Say, I will call this as equation number 1, 2 and now this, I will call it as a 3. Equation number 3. Now, what we will do is, we will substitute this, uh, say, value of I1 from uh, equation number uh, 1. Now, if you see this equation number 1, 
what would be value of i1 from this equation the i1 will be nothing but what i1 will be equal to i will take on the other side i3 and then minus i okay so i1 will be i3 minus i2 so we will substitute that in equation number 2 that is this equation so you can say substituting i1 from equation number 1 into in equation 2 of course we get it so what we will get here so this is four times i1 is nothing but what i3 minus i2 so i put it here minus 3 times i2 is equal to 10 So, so we have, have to simplify, simplify this. this. So, so it will be 4 times i3 minus 4 times i2 minus 3 times i2 is equal to 10. Okay. So <coughs> we'll take it slightly above. Yes. So. this will be 4i3 and minus 4i2 and minus 3i2 so that will become these two terms are similar so it will be uh, minus 7i2 okay so it will be what 4 times i3 minus 7 times i2 is equal to 10 so i will call this as our equation number say 4 okay equation number 4 Now, Now what, what we'll, we'll do is, is uh, we will subtract this uh, equation, equation number three, uh, uh, equation number four rather from, from equation number three, three so, so that, that uh, uh, we, uh, we can, can cancel, cancel out this term for i three term. Okay. okay. So, so I will so take I'll another color here. here. Yeah. So four i three will get cancelled here, here if we subtract these two equations. So what we'll do is, I will just write down it here. equation number 3 minus equation number 4 so 4i3 and this 4i3 will get cancelled then this will be 3i2 and minus and minus 7i2 will become 10 times i2 is equal to 5 minus 10 5 minus 10 is what minus 5 okay Or, or we can, can say, say that, that i2 will, will be equal to, to if i take this 10 as the denominator, denominator here, here and if you find out this finally so, so it will be 10, 10 by, by 5, 5 by 10, 10 that, that, is that is 1 by 2, 2 that, that is nothing but what minus 0.5 so this, this is the value of what i1 uh, uh, sorry this is the value of i2 i will call this as equation number 5 Now we, Now we can, can substitute, substitute this value, value of i2 in, uh, in uh, some of the equations, say, and uh, we can get the value of other uh, variables. Say, if you see uh, in equation number two, we have this i2 and i1 is there. So we will substitute this value of i2 here in equation number two to get value of what i1. So it will be what then? I will just take it slightly above. So, so it will be four times. times. So, so substituting, substituting i2, you can say substituting i2. That, that is from equation, equation number five, five of course. In, in uh, equation two, we get. So what, so what we will get, get here? We will get, get here four times i1 minus three multiplied by. by I2 value, value is minus 0.5 and, and is equal to 10. So it so will be 4 times I1 minus and minus will become plus 3 into 0.5 is nothing but 3 into half that is 1.5 is equal to 10. 
so it will be 4 times i1 will be 10 minus 1.5 and, and 10, 10 minus 1.5 will be what? 8.5. Okay, 8.5. So, so that, that means what? I1 will, will be nothing but what? 8.5 divided by 4. 8.5 divided by 4. Now, if you calculate this value, it comes out to be I1 is equal to 2.12. Ampere. Okay, of yeah, course, this is also ampere. ampere. Yeah. So, this, this is, is our equation, equation number six. six. Now, now, we can, can substitute, substitute this I1 value in, in uh, uh, say, say, in equation, equation number, we can say that, that any of these equations, yeah, uh, say, say equation, equation number, uh, we have uh, equation number one, one? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, equation, equation number, number one, one is there, is okay. okay. So, so equation, equation number one, one uses as this I1 plus I2 is equal to I3. I3. So, we so can we get, get the value of I3 by, by substituting these two equations, equations. That, that is equation, equation number five, five and equation number six. six. So, so that, that is value of substituting values of I1, substituting, substituting. I1, I1 and, and I2, I2 from, from 5 and 6, and 6 in, in equation, equation number, number 1. one. So, uh, we, uh, we have, have this equation, equation number 1, one here. here. So, what, what it, it says, says equation, equation number 1 is this one. I1 plus I2 is equal to what? I3. I3. So, we so can we get, get I3 is equal to I1 plus I2. I2. So, so we, we have, have here, here i3 is equal to i1 plus i2. So, so this will be i3 is equal to i1 is this one 2.12 ampere and i2 is this one that is minus 0 0.5 ampere. So we get here i3 is equal to 1.62 ampere. So this, so this is our, is our equation, equation number, number seven. seven. Now, now here, here we found, found out all the currents here through all these different branches, branches here. here. Say so you can, can see that this equation number seven gives us I3. Equation, equation number six gives the value of uh, I1. I1 and, and equation number two gives the value of I2. I2. So, so, so that is what it was asked that what will be the current through 3 ohm and 4 ohm resistors. So, so, these, these will, be will be the I1, I2 and I3 are, are to be required to be solved here, here and we have done this. this. Okay. I hope, I hope that, that you understand this. this. Now, now, I will give one homework. homework. Say, I will, I will take, take, I will give one homework. homework. We will design, design any problem, problem here. here. Say, for, for example, example, I have one battery here. here. Say, it is like this, connected like this. This is the battery, capital P. Suppose, Suppose there is a there resistance, resistance in series with this battery, battery of 2 ohm. And, and suppose, suppose this battery, battery voltage is 12 ohm. Then, then we have 3 ohm, 4 ohm. And again we have this. Say this is 7 ohm suppose. suppose. Okay. okay. Now, now you can, can make the directions, directions of current, current here. here. So generally we have conventional, conventional current, current is from, from positive to negative. negative. So you can consider, so consider this is I1, which, which will flow here, here like this. this. Okay. okay. Now, now here, here there will be branches, branches of this current. This current. So, so some, some part of the current will flow here and some part will flow here. So it will be say I2 suppose and this is suppose I3. Okay. So this, so this I3 will flow like this here, here. Same, same direction, direction. I2, I2 will flow here, here like this and, and finally they will combine, combine here again at this point and it will be nothing but what then? I2 plus I3 here, here that will be nothing but I1 again. again. Okay, I1, I1 will, will come, come again, again here. here. Okay. okay. And uh, <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, uh, yeah, this will be there. Uh, this will be the case there, and I will give the names if you want. Say this is A suppose, then this is suppose um, B. Uh, I will call this B. Okay. Yeah, we can call it any point like this. Okay. A B. Suppose C. We have D. We have E, and we have F. Okay. So the question is find out voltage drop across seven ohm resistance. Find. Voltage drop across seven ohm resistance. Okay, you can apply KC and KVL both of them, and uh, this is very easy to solve them. Okay, such type of examples are asked in most of the competitive exams, so you should be prepared for such type of uh, uh, this uh, exam. Now you, now can, you comment can comment the answer, the answer that, that what will be the voltage, voltage drop across, across 7 ohm resistance. I hope, I hope that, that you understand, understand this lecture, lecture. and, and uh, thank, thank you very, very much, much for your, your patience, patience listening. listening. Thank, thank you. you.